IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hey Braves, welcome to the first episode of Braves Beat for this semester. I'm Jake Summerall. And I'm Sailor Betts. Hey Jake, have you been affected by senioritis yet? Not yet. All right then, let's get into the news. Mock Trial competed in the fifth annual Mock Hawk Tournament in Miami. Brooke Youngblood and Paige Falter scored Outstanding Witness Awards, and with Avery Valtz, Tacey Hutton, and Ethan Marks won Outstanding Attorney Awards. The team won its fifth consecutive Mock Hawk Tournament. Congratulations, Braves. On Monday, the Indian Hill Trivia team continued to dominate in the sixth week of competition. Playing at CCDS, the varsity team continues to be undefeated, winning with a score of 78-34 to against Finneytown, while the junior varsity team fought a tough game but unfortunately lost with a score of 48-54. to Great job, Braves. Robert Brunner, IHTN director, visited a former IHTN director and now ESPN director Anthony DeMarco at UK's Rupp Arena on Sunday, December 15th to observe a women's basketball game in the ESPN production truck. What a great opportunity to learn from a professional and former IH grad. Over break, Indian Hill placed third out of 22 teams in the Madeira Wrestling Tournament. Special congratulations to Harris Foad and Charlie Lindbergh, who each placed first individually in their respective weight classes. Congratulations to all who participated. Boys basketball started off the decade strong with an 85-75 victory over the Taylor Yellow Jackets last Friday. They also fought off a tough Goshen team on Tuesday night with a score of 61-53. Be sure to come out to the homecoming game tonight versus Finneytown at 7.30. The theme is 80, so be sure to come out and support. During winter break, varsity girls basketball traveled to Orlando for the 2019 Rock Holiday Classic. Off the court, the team was treated to an Orlando Magic game and participated in many team bonding activities. Looks like it was a fun trip. Speaking of girls basketball, Maddie Antonucci earned the title of the Roses MVP of the Week this past week. Ella Riggs was nominated for Cincinnati Inquirer Athlete of the Week for D2 Girls Basketball. Be sure to come out and vote as voting ends at 5 p.m. Both the girls and boys IH swim teams beat Seven Hills and CHL rival Madeira in their second winter break competition of this season on Thursday, January 2nd at the CCD Pool, which serves as the Indian Hill home venue for swimming. Great job, Aqua Braves. With the new year, we have a new season, and with the new season, we have new members. Let's check them out. Jokes aside, stay tuned for after the video to see your Season 18 cast. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Be sure to come out for the boys' basketball game tonight and have fun at Winter Homecoming, Braves. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Qualified to be in Brace Beat. My TikTok fame. Uh, how many followers do you have? Almost 200K. Almost 200K, Yay. wow. Uh, honestly, it was, I heard it was a fun class, so I wanted to take it. I don't think I'm really qualified, honestly, but, yeah. I just have a different quirky energy. Just really nervous. Um, Did I'm you take I'm that just, from the studio? I'm here. Come here. I'm here for you. I'm not. Because Sam is. Sam, uh, the uh, guy that just got escorted out of the, the okay. No, I feel like I'm a really creative person, and I just, I bring a lot to the table. I can tell. Um, I say you're creative. Do you, uh, have you done any personal projects or any other projects with other companies in the past? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I really like recording people. 